done pinning with That's Just Penny and the Junk Journal Ministry. And today I'm showing you a gift of love journal that I've created and I'm working on. This was entitled um, Love. And the kit that you see on the right side here, parts of the kit, it's a sneak peek. It's called Grandma's Hankies. And um, you all can laugh about that, but... <laughs> Um, hankies is, I guess, a southern term we use instead of handkerchiefs. Um, we use those as hankies. <laughs> but um, I'm using some uh, tea bags as well. I'm going to be using some um, crocheted flowers that my mom crocheted. And I'm going to be, um, this is a sneak peek. I love this, the Gift of Love journals. Um, this is a paper clip here, and this is a two pocket. These are, this was a, um, a vintage hanky that I cut in half. So that's why I called it Grandma's Hanky. And the lace and things down here came from a thrift shop find. It was a shirt, um, I think it was a verbini or something like that shirt. It was all lace, and I purchased it just to cut up. So, yeah. Um, but um, I did, this is a gift of love journal from the Junk Journal Ministry. So it will be um, going out as soon as I can. Now you probably, if you're catching me in the groups, you probably saw the one that I did called Hope. And I've done several hopes, but the last one that I did, this is number, um, let's see. <clears throat> This is number 21 or 22, I've lost count, but um, Gift of Love journals since um, November, since, so, or October. Since October, there's been 22 or so Gift of Love journals. Um, so I'm super excited. There's been several, um, oh gosh, I can't tell you how many prayer pockets has been um, given out by the Junk Journal Ministry. But I am super excited. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here. Um, let's see. So here's a sneak peek. See that sneak? Um, this um, gift of love, love journal and um, was um, in the I'm sorry, the grandma's hankies was designed to go together. Um, so <clears throat> for a Pacific person. So here is a new pocket design that I was working on. Um, it has a flip up, but it also has a hidden note here. Has a pocket here and has a pocket here. And I will show you guys how to do this really soon. Um, over in the Junk Journal Corner Facebook group, we're going to have a 30 minute, 30 minute junk challenge. So head on over there if you want to join that. In the Digital Junk Journal Printables uh, Facebook group as well, we are having a, um, if you're wanting to learn about being a digital designer uh, and things like that, there's some information over there. We're having a sort of a contest over there, sort of a giveaway, not a contest, but a giveaway over there. So our challenges usually are in the Junk Journal Corner Facebook group and um, our um, sort of our projects in for digital stuff, for printables and things like that is in the Digital Junk Journal Printables group. Um, but I'm just super excited. I want to show you this and I wanted to show you um, about a little, um, tool that I use. I can't, uh, all the time drag out my brother's scanning cut all the time. So I wanted to, um, I've had this little, you probably saw me. If you catch my videos before and follow me, you've probably seen this little guy before. This is a made by Corolla, Crayola, and, um, it is a little tool. Um, it's run on batteries that cuts, but it doesn't cut you. It's a, I know it's a child's item, but, um, it comes with this little mat and here it is. Now it used to be yellow and not green. My little, at that time, my little girl got hold of it. But anyway, this is old. It, it is really old. Um, I'm not sure if you can get these anymore. I'm trying to see, um, the name, if it had a Pacific name, it does come with a spare um, it's just a little cutting tool and I'm trying to see if there is, um, like a name on it or whatever, but it, it, it isn't. Um, but anyway, but I, I love this thing and it cuts these out. Um, and as you, I'll show you here in just a second. I think they have a newer one. Um, but see how it cuts out. 
I just absolutely love it. Um, it does take batteries. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. So there's no hurting of the hands. And no, I'm not affiliated. No, I'm not endorsed by Crayola. This is something that I've had probably for 15 years. I don't even know if you can get them anymore. I don't know if you can get the replacement tips anymore or anything like that. Um, but I'm just showing you the the tool because it's one of my main tools i don't want to have to get my brother's skin and cut out all the time especially if i'm on the go i can take this with me and it doesn't make a whole lot of noise or anything like that it's really super easy um i just push it with my thumb the only thing is is it does require batteries which can be if you get you know you, you only need to get the rechargeable ones but you just follow along the line that's why a lot of my um, digital designs have the black line for brother scanning cut and for also for those who uh, have this little this little tool or similar tools it's just easier for you to see and of course if you go too fast with this it will not cut out you have to go at a moderate pace nothing real super slow and then to remove it you just kind of tear it away so it leaves this really cool edge though especially if you're into distressing and yes I have since I use just regular copy paper it will do cardstock as well uh, of course your batteries will be you know used up faster but there you go quick and easy no hurting of my hand um, all you have to do is just the vibration if you don't like vibrations or if it bothers your nervous system then you don't want to do it but um, if you don't want to do scissors and stuff like that and it cuts so super close but it gives you this edge it gives you a distress edge you don't have to sit here and like you know how some will have those little distressing uh, blades so you don't have to do that with this it's already there um, and you can just distress it and it leaves that um you know the little rigidness rigid even i don't know leaves a texture <laughs> okay so if you can see how it leaves the little yeah it just makes it easier to distress okay guys so I would just want to show you what I was working on because I hadn't come on in quite a while. Um, I've been busy uh, designing templates, designing new kits for you guys, making the junk journal uh, gift of loves for the junk journal ministry. Like I said, this has been number 22 or 23. I, I've actually lost count. and I, I, I was trying to keep count as you guys saw, um, but aren't these beautiful purple roses aren't they gorgeous and they come they will come in different colors yellow red pink and blue um and so yay if you want them in a different color you can let me know but um this kit grandma's hankies will be out soon as soon as my design team has had time to work on some kits i'm gonna show you one more I had some leftover bits of lace. So you guys see these snippets all the time. You see snippet rolls and things like that. Well, I just took a piece of muslin strip that I had left over. And I just, all these little bits was in a container. And I said it's time to use them because it would go perfect with grandma's hankies. So this is all kinds of lace, little pieces of fabric, some trim and some ribbon. And voila. And then what you do with the snippet is you just snip it. You cut it. You can use it as a belly band. Uh, vertical or horizontal. You can use them on the edge of your um, journals. You can use them as a tie to tie your journal together. You can use them on the pockets. You can just. And then you can add papers. If you want to add a felt leftover ephemera from the kit that you necessarily did not put in the journal. Then you can absolutely glue or sew these on as well. And you can roll them up them in a roll and to keep or whatever but this one I have made specifically for grandma's hankies to correlate with that um, kit okay so I guess that's all that I have be checking out the new website that is where you're gonna find all of the public personal use kits all the new kits that I've released will be there on the new website super excited for Google sites thank you um, so yeah they're all there everything from that for that's just penny is for personal use um unless you have other lessons that that i have given or whatever you know who you are so anyway um 
I guess that's about it. Um, I can't show you anything that I'm working on just yet, but just be no, just no, just be no, just know that there are 12 kits, 12 templates that I'm working on that I'm going to finish. And if you were following me for the Traveler's Notebook printable uh, templates, that video will be up soon. I'm having to edit and film when I can. So, um, if you have a, you know, I have a very busy 12 o'clock midnight is the time that I normally film. Um, however, um, here lately I've not been able to, just not been feeling well to be able to film. So, um, please be patient with me about getting all that together, about the finishing the Traveler's Notebook template journal. And if you're wondering what I'm even talking about and you don't have a clue, what, what is she talking about? All these stuff. Um, you can message me and I can leave you the links to what I'm referring to. Okay, guys. All right, guys. Check out the description box below. It should have all of the links and information to find. That's just Penny. If you're interested in the Gift of Love journals being sent out or to request one, again, all that information will be below. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Blessings.